One main world, one creation dream. Now, for this class, we are going to continue creating the activity menu triggers. Um, it's going to be the section number two. And after that, we are going to learn how to create the activity menu buttons, okay? I'm going to take out this because I get distracted with the music. I'm very distracted the person, so um, I have to do that, okay? So we are going to start with once more with activity menu triggers. So we are going to finish our brain and then we are going to create a couple of buttons, okay? So you are going to learn the basics to create uh, your activities. Um, just, you just need to reply that and copy and paste. Uh, when you finish that and then we are going to start working in our reaction bar system okay of course we cannot finish that today we are going to finish tomorrow we are going to keep using this that is going to be in our activity list okay this is very important guys because we are going to work a lot with this today and also we are going to work a lot with this on the next classes okay also we have an, uh, an emoticon list so be sure that you take that information with you okay guys so also if you have any questions about this um before we start the class just let me know okay S because it's important okay i see that a lot of you have questions about that because we never used before um, the activity list on the, this channel, um, it's not the activity list, sorry, the groups, uh, the variable with groups. So I want to be sure that everything is clear for you guys, okay? All right? Okay, so have a good day, uh, Mati, and thank you so much for coming this morning. Uh, I know that in Argentina probably it's very early in the morning. Uh, I'm not sure, but I think it's going to be um, at least 5 a.m. So thank you so much for coming. And also I see here that uh, New York Humane is coming. So welcome also to the streaming. And also I see Pew uh, Kang Nguyen here, okay? So guys, so in the screen, you are going to see what we are going to do today. And is that we are going to create, apart from the normal, uh, we used to have those three with those four, okay? So the the four different um, triggers that we create at the last uh, class are going to work. First, this one is going to just get the score for all the players on the different activities. So we will know for sure that the best player is going to win. Then we have something that is going to reset the inventory part, okay? Uh, what happened, guys, okay? And uh, this is very important. What happened is that a uh, for some players, um, it's very important to do this because, um, yes, we are going to have different activities. Imagine that the players can go to another activity with all the items. As an example, they are they were just uh, playing the part about painting and drawing, and um, they they live with all the items. Probably, if they go to to another activity like singing, they will be able to use those blocks to exit from the map. So it's very important. Okay. Oh. Also, we got like the give items. This is going to actually use the list that we created before just to give items to the players. This is like the name explanatory, okay? And teleport is going to move the players, okay? All right, so as the players can be moved and we already finished those four, um, we have like covered all the main functions and those are going to be just support functions. What does it mean? That these are not going to be the main uh, triggers about our system, it's just going to be supports that we are going to use with our brain, okay? And today we are going to learn how to create our brain, okay? And what happens, guys? We are going to have different interactions in how it's going to work for this we are going to have two folders the first folder uh, is being called brain and it's going to handle all the the main functions for this activity menu that means that it's going to control the timing and everything and then we are going to have interactions actually on here we are going to save all the click activities okay so what does it mean when I give a click on our interface, I can click in any part of the interface. And what is going to happen is that two different triggers are going to work at the same time. 
Okay, the first one is going to be called select any activity. And what it contains, it contains all the comments and actions and feedback that we are going to use for all activities. As an example, it's going to make sounds, it's going to tell the player, hey, the host choose an activity, it's going to take the timer to the next activity, it's going to, to do all the basic things. And click in your activity, it's going to set up the variables for the activity. As an example, it's going to tell the game before the game teleports the player, where they are going to be teleported, what are going to be the rules, and all the, the, the things that are not general, okay? So this is going to, to contain all the things that are going to be the same for the different activities, and this is going to contain the personal activities, okay? That's going to be the first part, that's going to be how it works. And then we are going to have an activation, okay? Once we have to set up the variables and select the activity, the functions, we are going to have a timer, okay? What is going to do the timer is that it's going to take only 10 seconds, just for half enough time for the players to know that we are going to go to the next activity. So that means that during 10 seconds, the players can move freely. You can set up that time, but I'd recommend it to follow just the same idea, okay? So you are going not to be loose. You are going to be able to follow the same instructions I made. Then it's going to happen next. When the 10 seconds pass, you are going to execute another trigger, okay? And on here, it's very confusing, but we are going to have three triggers, okay? The first one is being called activity ini, next activity ini, and what it's going to do is just to, it's like a reset for our system. It's going to delete the items, it's going to clear the selections, and it's going to, to restore the default values for all the players, okay? And then it's going to check if there is any activity. So when we do this, it's going to execute two activities at the same time. The first one is next activity oak. That means that we, if we have any activity, guys, if after this we are going to have as an example signing or whatever activity we choose is going to tell the player okay so yes there is going to be an activity so we are going to show the instructions we are going to make some effects and we are going to start the timers but if there is no activity if after uh, these 10 seconds pass and this is being executed there is no activity the game is going to enter into relax time okay remember relax time is just the time for the players to choose the activities once more if we switch to our part we have choose we have relax and the activity so it's going to switch back to relax okay so relax is just the time that the players are going to take to choose the next activity of course if this works it's going to have the same trigger activated that same um a countdown and is going to take this time eight 120 seconds. Remember also that with the reaction bar that we are going to learn, you can extend this time. But after the game finish, after the time for the activity finish, also we are going to switch to the trigger that says relax at time, okay? So today we are going to learn how to do all of those, but we are going to first start with those three, those four, sorry. And once we finish those four, we are going to learn how to do our interactions okay so moving here to triggers uh, you are going to see the same thing that I see here okay so we already work on this for first that were teleport give items clear items and add a score that was the first one for support functions yeah we already finished that and we are going to start with select any activity activity any activity oak and relax time that you are going to see of course on the top of this okay so uh, what we are going to do today guys is that we gonna start right now we gonna start uh, by creating this okay so the first thing I want you to do guys the first thing I want you to check is that we are going to create um, all the different activities but we always start from the bottom to the top why is this because um, actually this one is going to use those three this one is going to call those two and this one is going to call this one so if we use backwards to go to the top we are going to have everything ready okay so the first thing that we are going to do is we are going to create a next activity oak that is going to be this one the trigger that we saw here okay and what we are going to do you need to do the next setup okay 
you are not going to add, oh guys, and this is very important, don't add any condition or any event here, okay? So we are just going to add actions, okay? Remember, this is going to create instructions, create special effects, and it's going to start the timers so the players will know for sure that they are going to have an activity and or they are going to have all the information, okay? So the first thing that we are going to do is that we are going to go to player group and we are going to create a chat info for all the players, okay? So how does it work, guys? Once we add this one, remember, you are going to have something like this. In the first um, square, you are going to place the players who are going to see this, okay? So as all the players are going to check that, just go to player group and select all the players, okay? And you are saying, Something strange here, as you see, there is nothing, but I'm going to show you a trick, okay? I'm going to copy this, and I'm going to use a notepad to show you how it works, okay? So, that is what I put in here, and let me explain how it works, okay? So, this is going to be a new line, okay? New line means that it's going to do the same as put enter or or just uh, press enter, okay? It's going to create a new line, okay? So, as an example, I'm going to put an example here. If you put something like, hey, next game, and you put uh, something like this on here, what it's going to do is that it, this is not going to be seen and it's going to do this, okay? So what I'm doing here is placing one, two, three, four, five, and six ends, okay? What does it mean that we are going to have one, two, three, four, five, and six? So it's a way to clear the screen, so all the information is going to be first. Even if the players chat something, these messages are going to disappear, and the screen is going to be completely empty, so the players will see better the information, okay? So very important, guys, remember that is just you need to put this like this, and very important, it's like this and not like this, okay? So this one is not going to be the same, okay? This one is not going to work. You need to search for this one, okay? All right, so once you put it, and let me show you here, if I put backslash and end, you are not going to see anything because the game is going to detect this as, a, as an enter, so you're not gonna see anything. Okay, so remember this is just for clearing the screen, okay? Then uh, we are going to take a time. So remember this, remember that I, I'm going to take some times and this time that I'm making or the pauses I'm making by triggers is um, it's just to make the pliers uh, um, wait a little bit before receiving the next instruction so the pliers are going to receive the instructions by parts, okay? So, how we are going to do this? First, uh, we are going to, to add an action, we are going to just move to timer, and we are going to put a timer, okay? Waiting time, and remember guys, it's going to be this action, okay? And you are going to wait three seconds, okay? So just three seconds, uh, no more, and before to perform the next action, and then we are going to create an effect, okay? Or a sound, sorry in the central region of the area, okay? So you are going to just go to here, and let me put this in full screen so it's going to be better. So you are going to move to sound effect, and you are going to put sound effect on position, okay? So you have to look on those, and you have to search for the one that says turn on sound effects in position, okay? Don't use pliers, don't use creatures, you are going to use just position, okay? And okay, I, I put another one, sorry for that. And what you are going to put on there, it's the next information. And here you have to expand. You are going to select function library and you are going to select central location of an area, okay? And very important guys, on here you need to create a, this variable, okay? The variable name is going to be next activity area, okay? Try to use the same name I'm using, try to use the same uppercase and lowercases, this is very important, okay guys? 
All right, so next activity area, and that's going to be the one, and we can play whatever sound you want it, okay? Let me give you a, a quick pause to the music and hear the sound, okay? The sound I'm placing is this one, okay? So that's the sound that I'm using for just teleport the pliers. If you see, I modify a little bit the key, um, just to make it a little bit more cartoon uh, sound, but that's it, okay? And the volume increased it a little bit. You can use whatever sound, okay? But you can try to be sure that you play the sound because it's going to give feedback to the pliers. Next, we have a displayed content to all the pliers, okay? So, how do you do this? Once more, what we are going to do is just the same we did before. As you see here, if I copy this, okay? If I copy this, it's going to be the same, okay? We are going to clear the screen again. So, what you can do is just copy and paste at the first option here, okay? Now, next, we are going to wait four seconds, okay? So, what you can do is just copy and paste or add manually from here. Just go to triggers, uh, timer, waiting time, okay? Remember, waiting time and you are going to wait four seconds, okay? Before performing the next action, okay? Now, once more, we are going to make a sound. So as you see, this is not going to send in text. This is going to make the sounds and be sure to use the same timing I'm using because this is going to be important, okay? So what you are going to do here is um, you are going to just copy and paste, okay? So we can use the same sound here just copy and paste and you are going to have the same sound right here, okay? Then we have to wait another four minutes, four seconds, sorry. So you just copy and paste and you are going to have also another four seconds, okay? Remember, this is a copy of this and then we are going to have a sound, okay? So once more, you can add it manually or just copy it, okay? You can go here, sound and use plier sounds on the position or you just can go ahead, copy and paste right here the information. This time I'm using a different sound. This is going to be the sound for the pliers when the pliers start the round. Let me put my audio on because probably I'm not hearing very well on here. And let me see if it's on the wrong. All right, yeah, that's the sound I'm placing. Okay, it's a different sound from the previous one because this time it's like, hey, we're gonna start, so this is going to be the sound. So it needs to be different, okay? So remember the third sound is going to be different and the central location is the same, okay? So remember all of the sounds are going to be central location of ARIA and next activity ARIA, okay? And that's it. As you see, we have like a lot of sounds and a lot of weights here, okay? Then you gonna show a text to the pliers the text that you are going to show, guys, is the next one. You go, just, you can add an action and you can go here to player group and in player group, you are going to display chat info to a player group, okay? And remember to put all players here. And what I put here is actually something that says start, okay? Once more, I think I have an N here, okay, so let's try to copy all of them to see how it's actually really composed it. So I'm going to move back to here, and as you see, I put an N here, so it's going to give, give a space or a line, a new line, so it's going to not to be in seen like this, it's going to give the line and then the text on this area, okay? So that is why it's looking so strange here, but it's just a start, okay? So it's just to tell the players that they can start, and the most important part about this, guys, is that you need to put this last action, okay? So remember, this is just sound um, and some feedback in text, and the timing is very important. But on here, this is going to be the most important part. You need to add an action. The action, it's going to be timer, and it's going to be round countdown timer. And the timer that we are going to operate is being called next activity timer, okay? This is going to be the first one and you put in here 180 seconds, okay? So remember this, guys, remember this. It's what we are going to do is this one, exactly. We execute this and we start the timer. So when it finish, we are going to move to the normal area and we are going to start with normal activities, okay? All right. So, 
and that's how it's going to work and it's going to be false. All right, so we already get this activity finish. We are going to move the next, okay? So we are going to start creating this one. This one is next activity ini, okay? And as you see, this one is going to have an event and conditions and also is going to have an actions, okay? So before starting, once more, let me give you a reminder. So we already finished with this one. We are going to create this one. And what it's going to do this one? This one is going to work every time that the timer stops and there is an activity that we can that we already select actually. Okay, so it's going to create a default values, it's going to clear the item. So if the player has some items from the previous activity, it's going to delete it and it's going to check if there is any activity. Basically, it's like the brain, okay? It's going to tell the game, oh, okay, uh, the players need to stop or the players needs to go to the next activity. So we are going to do that, okay? So, oops, sorry. So we are going to create that one here. And once more, we need to create a trigger. You are going to create it and you are going to rename it as a next activity ini, okay? Very important, guys. The previous one was oak. This one is ini, okay? And we are going to do the next thing, okay? And please, guys, if I'm going too fast, uh, that I know that happens a lot because, you know, guys, I'm a little bit accelerated sometimes. Just let me know so I will be able to stop before continuing, okay? So let's do it. Let's take the time for working on this. What we are going to do first. First, we are going to add a trigger, okay? The trigger is going to check how many time left in our uh, management uh, a loop, sorry, a timer, the timer that we are using right here, okay? Once more, we're gonna check this, okay? So, what we are going to do is designate it a timer change, okay? And what we are going to do when we add it, we are going to add the variable that says next activity timer. Once more, if you don't have it, you're supposed to have already created, but if you don't have it, just create it, okay? Next activity timer changes we are going to check three different conditions. The first one is that we are going to check and be sure that this is going to execute only one time when the activity timer is equals to zero. Then we are going to be sure that the next activity, and for this is very important, it's greater than zero, okay? And I'm going to take the way back next activity, it's greater to zero or to one, because if we have one activity, that means relax time. So. This is only going to work if, right here, we have any activity apart from those two, just on here, okay? And the actual activity needs to be equal to one. That means that the next activity or the activity that selects the pliers needs to be greater than relax and the current activity is relaxed. That is just the time for select activity, okay? So we're gonna start with this. We are going to add an action. We are going to move right here to tool and we are going to choose the determine time or time, okay? So as we choose the determine in term in time, we are going to have this, just get inside, upper here and select in variable, the variable that we already created that we are just currently working with that is called next activity timer, okay? And very important, this needs to be equals to zero, okay? So that means that it's going to execute when um, this activity is on is not timing left because if we don't put this, this is going to execute every second. So that's not the way what we want it. Okay, then we are going to go to mat numerical comparison, and in numerical comparison, we are going to put in the first score. We are going to scroll down and select next activity, and very important, it needs to be greater than. This one, okay, needs to be greater than one, okay? The number one is very important here. Then we can copy and paste, and we are going to have this one, we are going to change on here, and we are going to select activity. This time, the second one needs to be equals, okay? So it needs to be equals to the number one. And at the end, you are going to have the three conditions right here, okay? Now, on here, we are now are going to set up some options. So the first one is that we are going to use the activity that the player schedule 
to the actual activity, how we are going to do that, okay? So, pliers, as an example, selects this, okay? So, current activity is going to be relaxed time, we are going to change the number, okay? So, how we gonna do this is that we are going to scroll down, we are going to select assign, and remember that we are managing everything with value, okay? Value, it's the key right here so it's like we using this uh, key to select any of the different activities okay so we are going to use this all right and we are going to set it up so select value setup okay and in the value you are going to put you are going to have two different spaces what you are going to do is that you have to select this one just go ahead click on that one and select activity you supposed to have already that variable created then you are going to select a next activity guys and when you have next activity on here it's supposed to be finished okay so remember we are just set up the current activity to the next activity and now we need to clear the next activity so remember we are going to select next activity as one so if we move to our table one is going to be this one so that means that the pliers are going to be in relaxed state once more like we have like different states here so the states one is relaxed remember that here the plier choose what is going to be next okay so how do you do that? Just copy and paste, okay? And when you copy and paste, you are going to change the information. In the first one, you are going to select next activity and you are going to select number one, okay? Number one, once more, just in the screen, number one, it's going to be this one, okay? So we are going to set up next activity as this one, okay? All right, now, we already create this trigger before, so we are going to execute that for all the pliers. So you are going to go here, you are going to select plier group, and on there you are going to operate plier and trigger set. What it's going to do is just tell the game, hey, I need this, this trigger to work for all the pliers, not for just one, so we are going to do that. So select operate trigger set, and in operate trigger set, we have to select which trigger, on here we have like our folders so we have to go to brain and select teleport that we just created the class before this one okay on here we are going to select which pliers are going to execute this so select all the pliers plier group all the pliers and we are going to treat the conditions as false we don't need to check the conditions okay so this is going to execute once more all this triggered for all the pliers okay now we are going to set the next activity area. So next activity area is going to be the area where the pliers are going to be teleported, okay? So we are going to clear that. That means that before it's telling the game, hey, this is going to be the activity, just in case we are going to save uh, a safe um, location, okay? So what we need to do is to add a, an action. The action is going to be assigned and you are going to select are you set up okay and once you got that you are going to select next activity area on here and it's going to ask you to choose where is going to be the area so i need you to select the area where the pliers can be we know the activity is like put it a lobby okay where the pliers can collect and work but they cannot interact so for this, I have one that is being called straight, okay? So I'm going to select that one. If I move back here, just to show you an example very quickly, guys, just a second, you are going to see that this is, okay, what happened? Many words, you cannot do this to me. All right, yeah, it's working fine. So this is going to be the area I mentioned before. This is going to be the street one, okay? And uh, yeah, if we check here, just to show you, is the street, all right? So that is going to be the region that we are going to work with. Okay, so check, be sure guys, if you see the screen, this is not going to, to cover any part of the map. It's just a free area where the pliers are not inside an activity, are not inside of any room, and they can walk freely around, okay? All right, so be sure that you select that one, okay? So welcome Kang Nguyen, uh, he's saying hello. So welcome to the class. 
All right. And then, as you see here, we we already got a lot of things set up and we left a couple of triggers right here, okay? So now, pliers, let's continue, guys. And now that we have that set up, we have to choose which trigger we are going to execute. Once more, we just create this one. So we are going to execute that trigger once more. So go ahead, choose here, plier group, and in plier group, okay, let, let me do a double check. I'm not sure about this one. Okay, no, this is going to be just a normal trigger. So go to triggers and operate triggers. We are going to execute that for all the pliers at the same time as we are not taking pliers. It's going to be okay. And we have to select which one. So it's going to ask us which trigger we need to operate. So you are going to select on here, drain. And remember, we got this one, sorry that says next activity okay okay we are currently working on this one but if we previously create this one so we are going to select that one okay the one that we just created before this trigger and conditions are going to be false of course we don't have conditions on that one okay so that's going to be the first one the next one you just copy and paste i oh, no, sorry you are going to add it manually okay the next one is going to be just go to plier group and we are going to select once more operate trigger on plier set and on here we are going to just delete all the items for the pliers so we need to select that in here okay we create that the previous class so just select clear items okay once more you are going to go here and select clear items okay and you need to select all pliers here and conditions needs to be false all right, and you just copy and paste here. Okay, remember, just copy. Okay, and you are going to change this. Now, after we clear, we are going to give the items for the activity. So we are just going to select give items, okay? Remember, give items uh, uses a table, uses a group to tell the players which item they are going to want. And we finish with this one, okay? So what will be the next one? The next one will be relax time, okay, guys? And I'm going to be a little bit fast because in a little bit we have to give the next code. So we already finished with those two. Uh, sorry, with those two. Now we are going to create the standard, okay? So to remember, this is going to actually give the players the time to choose the next activity. So it's going to be like default state. It's going to show a menu to the player and it's going to allow the other players to walk around, to move around the map, to just be able to interact with other things that are not important for the different activities, okay? So we are going to do that, guys. We are going to use that because I think it's going to be very important, okay? So let's move and let's continue with it, okay? So on here, we are going to move around here and we are going to create this activity okay so as you see i put a number on here it's because in my table this is going to be the number one number one relaxed time okay it's just something that is going to make it easier to understand so i could put the name on here the number one and the action that is going to be relaxed time okay so this is going to be a little bit different so first action if you check here you can just go ahead and copy okay so you can go ahead copy and paste on here okay so just go ahead from the next activity just let copy and paste it right here okay next what you can do is to copy also the conditions the first one and you are going to move it here okay and also you are going to copy the second condition and you are going to move it here and then you are going to copy the last one okay and you are going to move it here so you are going to have one action and three activities okay are just the same but they are going to have different values so on this one you need to select next activity timer okay it's equals and this is very important guys needs to be equals to the number one okay and this is going to be the action the second one it's going to be 
edit it also and you have to select here activity no next activity just activity it needs to be greater than okay this one one okay so if you see this is inverted so next activity on here is greater than but in this one is one 